This is my first time to configure an Edge router. The reason why I got this one, my friend who uses these kinds of routers has a lot of things to say of how good this router is. That's why I got one. I wanna share it with you guys. Now, we're not going to go through all the configurations what this router can do because it is my first time to use it. So my main goal right now is to get it working how we get the internet working with our home network. Let's go ahead and get this one working right now. Open up this Edge router. Connect it to our laptop, configure it. Edge router, there you go. Grab a cable, plug it to our USB to Ethernet adapter because my laptop doesn't support Ethernet. Here's the router, plug it to ETH0, that's what I'm going to use. And then look into the box, you have the default IP address, username and password. So you can find that one there. Second thing, in our laptop, we need to go to that uh, Ethernet connection and go to change adapter settings or change adapter options. Let's click on status, check this one out. So it's basically getting a PIPA, automatic IP address. So there is no DHCP server running on our router. So what we're gonna do, close this, and set our adapter into a static IP address. Okay, properties, and then IPv4. Use the following IP address. We're going to set this one as 192.168.1.10. So that's the same network with the router. With the default gateway, we don't actually need this one during the configuration, but we can just put the IP address of the router. The same with the DNS server. So 192.168.1.1. Okay, okay. And uh, it didn't update yet. So I'll just close, close. Right click again, status, details. There you go, 1.10. All right, close this one. Open up our browser. Chrome, 192. The 168.1.1. .1 .1. That's the IP address of our router. Okay. Just go for advanced and proceed to 192.168.1.1. Now let's use the default username and password that is UBNT UBNT. Okay. Whoa. So this is my first time. I haven't seen this dashboard for Edge Max. Or edge router so it's our first time we can click for yes okay we, we'll get back here let's just get a tour of what it looks like inside and uh, yeah this is cool routing firewall not services VPN well I don't actually know how to configure this yet so I need to go and try to research some of how you can do it so let's go ahead and do one two LAN. So I'm going to use one port as my internet connection and two of the ports will be LAN. So ETH0, this ETH1 will be my one wide area network. So enabled firewall, DHCP, I didn't configure anything there. And secondary LAN port, ETH2. So yeah it will give an IP address of 192.168.2.1. Okay, that would be that would be fine. I'll just go ahead and apply the settings. So we got a message here. The wizard configuration has been applied successfully, but internet connectivity test failed. Yeah, because this is not connected to the internet yet. I'm going to grab a cable, plug it to my ETH1. Get that cable, plug it to ETH1. That's my internet connection. All right? Let's jump back to my laptop. And we got disconnected because this is plugged to another router that has an IP address with 1.1 as well. So they're getting a kind of conflict IP address. So I'll show you that one later once we log back into the router. So what I'm going to do 
remove my cable from ETH0 and plug it to ETH2. Back into my laptop, we get back to our adapter settings, Ethernet, and change adapter options. We are going to set this one as obtain IP address because we set this one before as static. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to get IP address from our router. There you go. It detected it right away. Status. So yeah, it's getting the 192.168.2.21. I'll close this. Get back to my browser. Change this one with 192.168.2.1. So that's the IP address of the interface or the router that we are trying to connect to. That same edge router. Advance, proceed. Click on UBNT. UBNT. Login. All right, we're in. Now look at the interface. You can see the status here. Both are active. In below, you can see that ETH0 is 1.1 network and ETH1 is 1.1 network as well. So that's one of the reasons why it's having conflict. So we need to change this one with something different. I'll just put it to 0.1. So that will be a different network or segment. Now, with the settings we had just configured uh, earlier, it automatically created a NAT setting, firewall setting, the HTTP setting, because we use the setup wizard. Now, there are other configurations we can do here, but just like what I have said, this is my first time configuring this edge router. So my main goal is that to have the internet flow to this router. Now, with the other settings, I might come up with other tutorials regarding those ones like quality of service, like those things. And yeah, don't forget to change your password here because we are using the default password. So on the users tab, you change your password, okay? Quickly change it, I'll save that one. Okay, done. And let's go to YouTube and try to do some internet because that's our goal, to have internet connection through the router or this edge router light. So yeah, it's pretty good. Hope to make more videos about this edge router. So if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share it to your friends. See you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.